Naija Extra. My name is Precious Inge. Thank you. As I don't join us inside this morning, as we carry land on, the, on top of the mud this morning. Today, in a better year, we carry come your domo because we won't even look at The other day, we see, see some people from inside Lekki carry a no go green enter street. Say, President, oh, Governor, some more, no, President, you know, oh, make I can't do something, no, because house rents don't they took us for Lekki. Now, people say, wait, what's in there happen here? You know, no, when you carry your load, can't live for inside Lekki, you know, no, say the house rents go cost. Now, people call the look and see, even other countries themselves, they don't define ways to even make sure, say, they manage their housing issue. For instance, for Canada, now, because of, say, house rents don't do cost, they don't talk, say, you know what, we'll go reduce the percentage of uh, foreign students when they come into our country. Be like, then they come make our house rents the cost. That one, I'm other countries don't they do. But for inside this, our country, what we will fit do to make sure, say, house, they are affordable. Because food, house, and clothes, Essential thing where human beings need. That is now for in fact now number one thing that where people need today are life and to you survive. But house, so many people not get up for inside Nigeria. They also get themselves small thing remain. Now on that fly over, you go see them. If anything, just mistake just happen. So that's now what you make one bring that matter come your demand. The matter we be so good discuss today. Now homelessness and affordable housing. How people feel get used, how people feel take get house where be said they fit afford. And how fit you stop homelessness for inside Nigeria. That now the matter we'll get this morning, but make could take small break, come back. When we'll come back, I will let you in on the guests where be say sit down with us inside studio after the break. <music> Welcome back. So make we enter inside this matter proper, proper. A homelessness and affordable housing. Inside with me for inside studio. Now I want to go quarter quarter where you be saying when it comes to real estate and business, we consign housing. In be number one. If you never hear your name, let me say real estate never real. You know be real estate. If you never hear your name. I get Oladi Popo, Clement, so inside the house. I almost say Clement, so Oladi Popo. I can't remember. <laughs> see, as, a, as correct student, they sit down for front of class. Uh, I get and write. Good thank morning, you. sir. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. If we you use me. answer me as I call you, it's in sweet me over. Well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sit down for thank you. Studio. Okay. Thank you. So we won't talk about homelessness. Okay. Then affordable housing. Mm. Uh, homelessness. Uh, you go feel help us explain. I mean, Nigerians understand. And they go see, explain that way. Then they talk affordable housing. Because people know if you understand how affordable. Affordable housing fee be. Mm. And make you help us explain them first before we enter the matter. All right, so homelessness, mm. um, I, I will try to um, define them, mm. is a state where you have no home, essentially. Hey, where you say you don't get house you at all? You don't get house at all. Oh. Where you, I mean, people sleep under the bridge, people mm. sleep in uncompleted building. Unfortunately, we don't get shelter for Nigeria. We know it's a big problem, it's a mm. huge problem. Um, affordable housing, on the other hand, is when you don't have, sorry, so when house, ideally mm -hmm. your house is supposed to be something that by the time you pay for your rent or pay your mortgage mm -hmm. as the case may be, you still have disposable income to cover your other Expensive. basic expenses. Mm. So again, affordable is relative. Mm. So affordable in Lekki is different from affordable in Ajambadi. <laughs> Okokomaiko, hey, Songwata, mm. Mowe Town, mm. and all of those other places, mm. right? So, um, what is affordable, right? In in Mowe Town, cannot even pay rent, right? In a place like Victoria Island or Ikuyi, mm. no, go even so, pay monthly rent. Monthly rent, so it's 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 relative. Mm. So, um, and it's also about taste. It's about a host of other factors. Mm. Um, what will make housing affordable mm. and probably some of the things we're going to be talking about later on. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we even look at the Nigerian situation now because now here we okay. live. Mm. Um, of course, we we'll use Lagos as a case study, mm -hmm. and then we we'll still relate them to other parts of the okay. because I another major mm -hmm. issue for housing. Mm -hmm. I, I know, see, housing are one of the most expensive things Absolutely. for inside Abuja. What's yeah. in the state or situation, condition of housing now for Nigeria from your experience, especially maybe you won't get person for the industry. All right, so the challenge we have in this part of the world is the fact that whenever we're talking about housing, we only look at it in isolation of every other thing that affects it. I don't understand. Okay. Mm. That the, is the problem is say- they look at by itself without looking at other things where they affect them? Yes. Eh. So- You get relatives. <laughs> absolutely. Eh, okay. So you can't build any house. You know if you build any house, if you say you're not going to need cement, 
you're not going to need power, you're not going to need water, you're not mm -hmm. going to need security, you're not going to need healthcare, you're not going to need uh, finance, you're not going to need funding. Wait, wait, wait so healthcare is the inside housing? Oh. How? In a lot of ways. The house they seek? The house no they seek, but the people who are going to live in the house will oh. require healthcare. This is a question where people go to ask, say, what's in concern healthcare concern? What's in concern all these concern in the house when you talk about? So, so Nigerians need to understand properly. They know, say, everything connects. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so many things are connected. And the challenge is, we also have, um, there's a big problem around infrastructure. Mm. When we talk infrastructure, road, light, power, inter data, those internet, those need. are basic things, but they are all integral to the value you know, that we provide in real estate. Mm. Now, when the prices of those other you know, ancillary items also increase, it impacts on the cost of delivering the so-called affordable. So the affordable right. is no longer affordable. affordable. So make I explain that when you say that grammar now you speak and so okay, you try now. to talk, say those infrastructure them will be say we need like good road, mm -hmm. um maybe better hospital, yeah. better electricity, mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. If anything affect them we make to get them they expensive mm -hmm. To get them come cost, mm -hmm. so that thing will come make the house is supposed to be affordable, mm -hmm. no go affordable again. Absolutely. Uh, but okay, lights cost for Nigeria as it's still right now, as it is right now. So that's if you even get the lights. So I have, except you hey, look wait. for alternative power supply, and, and even the alternative power cost again. So those are the issues. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Those are the issues. Okay. So Interesting. Okay. Again, if you look at, um, I'm in the built industry, and I can tell you that 75 percent of the cost of construction goes for procurement. Mm -hmm. Procurement of building materials. That's 75% of the money where you use build the house. It goes to procurement. You just go for raw materials. Yes. 25% now you the pay for workmanship. All the land, labor, and a few other things. Hey, 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 okay, wait, wait, Documentations wait, wait. and all of that. It just touched something from my head. So if I buy land now for my head, I don't see my house inside that land. Yes. So that land where I buy just follow for a group of 25% of... I'm telling it, you. My problem just is starting. just like my Luther <laughs> is just beginning. <laughs> eh? So the yeah. land now just one small problem. Yeah. So make I come buy material, come build the house. Now there the cost day. Yeah. Are you serious? And now that 75% is largely import dependent. I don't know mm -hmm. as I go talk him for, for pigeon English. For pigeon. Wait, that seventy-five percent. Mm -hmm. Now me say all those raw materials where they talk about will make seventy-five percent. Will be the cement, the rod, the iron, the, the everything tiles, where you need the, the tiles, the, the everything. Fittings, what paints itself? Things, you say most of them. Everything they, they is import them. dependent. So now, every time there's, you know what is happening to our currency, the, the exchange rate inflation or exchange rates. Um, instability mm. is also impacting heavily on it. Again, most of the people who import these materials into the country, even if they get them, even if they bought it cheap, they think of the replacement costs. Mm. So they won't sell it at the price they bought it or at the price they would have sold it pre prior that time. They will mm. think of how much will it cost them for me to go buy to again. To go buy again. Hey. So, so now this one they make some people they don't even grease. They go tell you say even though someone I buy this thing now, mm -hmm. I buy them ten uh, naira mm -hmm. for value of naira. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna sell and twelve naira and make just two naira. Not at all. Because right now the way dollar day dollar fee be like twenty naira. So if I sell them now mm -hmm. for twelve naira to mm -hmm. go buy them back, I need to buy them twenty naira. Mm -hmm. So if I sell and twelve naira, that means I'll add more capital again, and that's no good for business. Oh not wow. Not good for business. Again, oh, wow. when you also look at access to capital for those who are even importing these materials mm -hmm. and then those who are even doing the construction. We are all, you know, nothing is guaranteed. Unfortunately, a lot of us who are in the industry, we seem to provide a lot of guarantees, yet you are not guaranteed anything. And even though people are aware that the economy is very, very unstable, they still expect you to deliver, um, you know, at a price that, I mean, almost uncontrollable. Even government is not providing affordable housing, even government. So that means even affordable government, housing for Nigeria and no the affordable. Even government are supposed to be, the re, who's supposed to we, have all we the get, responsibility. We get Ministry of Housing now. So even government is not providing, how many of the houses built by government are is affordable. within the reach of majority? At the scratch head, no. <laughs> because that question is if I no go for answer. No, that's mm. the reality. Because and the house have not the affordable for the government. Now you make the nothing give them out that's affordable. That's the truth. Mm. So there are other intricate conversations that we can have. I mean, there's the you know monetization of you know of buildings, 
owned and built by government, but I don't want to go into that. That's a different conversation altogether. But those are all realities, you know, uh, bedeviling the industry. But you see, let me also mention that if you really, really, really want to solve the problem of affordability of housing, we need to go back even to our labor system, our wage system is, is one of the poorest in the world. So a regular bricklayer, a regular electrician, right, doesn't get paid in the same manner as contemporaries in China, in, in America. Why? Well, we don't put so much premium on this thing. And not be on our fault, on our way be the developers, on our way be saying on the, okay, so you know, employed as we never, not fault. We never even increase that cost. See the thing where they happen. If we can't increase the labor oh, cost. Oh, if we not increase the labor cost, sorry, sorry. When are they tell you to add? I can't remember say, <laughs> we if never you add the price, you go add for the house rent, say, person exactly. will be the reason, the reason we are even they talk about the labor cost because even the regular electrician and bricklayer can't even afford those houses they themselves are building for the people. Yay. So because who they don't build the house, enough. no fit even get money to they rent the house? They don't earn enough to be able to afford it. Hey. So there are so many factors. Again, what of, there are many strategies that can make housing affordable that is even beyond the, um, the control of the Nigerian populace. Uh, a good chunk of us who are in the, in the, in the development space we provide flexible payment plan, but it's not for a very extended period of time. Those who have tried it have colleagues in the industry who have tried seven years, who have tried five years, and have had their fingers burnt, and they've had to really call to renegotiate the terms again because everything went off. I mean, we even did a, a small, pro we just did a, a, a small prototype um, towards the end, last quarter in 2019. Mm. And you believe you me, by the time it was six months to that project. With six months within that project, it was going to cost us twice the the, the price we sold it, and they were oh. still going to pay for much longer. Oh my! Oh my! In fact, so go some of the lost. people, not even lost. So we had to absorb it because, again, for us as our organization, Life Page, we had to, you know, just. Um, look at the fact that, okay, we can absorb it. We could absorb it. We did another project where we had... So no, not bear that cost. We, we absorbed it. But you see, if you are running a much larger, um, um, larger scale project, it would be almost impossible, especially when too many things are changing so rapidly. The challenge we have in the industry is that nothing is stable. Nothing is cast in stone. Okay. Yeah, so, but not be only on the industry. Now. This is a normal situation for Nigeria now. Well, what is making it so are not under the control of you know, those of us who are into development. Everybody's expecting things to, everybody's expecting you to sign, to sign up uh, a contract with you, you know, for purchase of a property, and then expect that the property will remain the same price, but the value should continue to rise, but they want the price they agree with you to remain. To remain the same price. When the cost of delivering it is constantly Not changing. Change. So like I, I tell you, see, I get agreement with you now, see, mm. in um, I won't buy like um, a five bedroom bungalow, mm -hmm. right? And then you tell me, say, a 10 million naira. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, see, you tell me, say, make I pay in five years, for mm -hmm. instance. And within that five years, the cost to even use prepare the bungalow for me. Mm. And when I never, because I never pay finish immediately. You never even pay, pay finish. I never pay finish immediately. Mm -hmm. And I say, I go pay you all the money in five mm -hmm. years. And the cost where you be, say, you go fit use build that house for me in five years. So, in fact, in the two years where if you prepare them, mm -hmm. if you promise me, say, you go deliver if I pay half, mm -hmm. the cost where you go use deliver them in that two years Don't will double. cost like, Double or triple. Or, don't or double or triple. In Nigeria means, right now, that you don't, don't match. That means you don't hit rock with that because how you won't manage. Now we see they try to explain That's this. That's what's going on. Oh wow. Oh wow. But we could look at how housing don't they from the beginning, like okay. the evolution, how houses don't they, um, how affordable housing don't they from the beginning of time. At what point will we begin get this rapid change? All right. So from time immemorial, I mean, even our forefathers build houses from peanuts, from peasant, um, you know, um, subsistent farming, and, mm. you know, even teachers could afford to, you know, and the reason for that was largely because government played a critical role. If you look at the Jack, Jack on the um, um, government era, you would realize that most of the areas around Lagos in particular, mm. right, that were 
inhabitable, quote and unquote. Where people no feel live before. Yes. Some areas where, people no feel live for Yes, Lagos. were opened up through those in um, um, mm. those project initiations. Like which area now? So you have places like Jai Ojokoro, you have places like Ipaja Yobo, you have so places, all those places even, even Aja, even the same yeah. Aja that we are referring to today that everybody is talking Aja now, wasn't the way it was when... So those places been there like where people no feel live at all were, before, before. Were not desirable but that Aja on their estate scene, I opened them. Opened them mm -hmm. up and part of the strategic move that that government, and that's why it's still, it's still an icon even to us who are in the industry today. And there are public lectures that. Now, you know, when I see Jagaban, I be person we, you know, make all these things happen because right no, no, now no. they talk, and I make things happen for Lagos. No, no, Jack on they did a, an extraordinary work okay. when it comes to housing. My grandfather owned the Jack on the property. My my parents in law owned uh, Jack on the property, and they paid over an extended period of time. Mm. Now those were the things that made it affordable. They were earning not so much, but they still could afford to pay for it. Abroad is the same principle. Now, what's to make everybody to figure housing abroad Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Because they pay your mortgage. Because so whatever it is you are paying as mortgage mm. could have actually gone as rent. So when you look at what you pay, that's how you make it affordable. Again. And then the good thing we say, you get a space. You know, say at least anyhow, before 10, 5, or 15 years, you don't finish your exactly. payment. Exactly. So again, um, part of the things that is now making, you, you're talking about within make a situation turn around. Major factor is this profiteering. Everybody wants to eat it and run. Enter that will not be on our fault because me are the one that not vex, so not vex, not oh, vex, okay. not vex. Okay, we'll come back to that question, but be like, I won't take break because <laughs> when I come back on break, I won't ask this question. Why it be say house where you build now with like 50 million naira mm -hmm. and your first year of rent, you won't make sure say you cover at least 30 million or 40 million for that 50 million where you use that. Why? I, I, I will, for house where you build, not say you go day forever. I go answer. Eh? Now one person waited one year, then go pay. I go answer them. My people after this break will come back to me and that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to on top of Good Morning Niger Extra in your day. And before we go on break, we'll be the top with Oga Olade Popo Clement. Make a note the reverse that name. So I get to the <laughs> deliberate as I used to come. And when we look at affordable housing for inside Nigeria, uh, before we go on break, I see I will take you in on that question. Why yeah. if we say uh, the owners of houses, both landlords now and real estate uh, people and developers especially, why if we say house, so if we say they build with a particular amount of money, say 50 million naira? Now in the use, maybe the total cost of that house. Why didn't they in a hurry to make the make back their profit immediately? Understand and say that housing is supposed to be a long term profit business. Mm. Why is it like that? So, it should not be one of the things really make housing expensive for the country. Fantastic question you have asked. Honestly, um, I told you earlier. I mm. say there's no way you can have or you can treat the subject of real estate in isolation of others other sectors. And you mentioned raw materials and all that. And I want to make me the ask, ask this question because so, the raw material you did for the house for the for the entire lifespan of that house. Yes. For as long as that house lasts. Yes. So, so why must you make your profit immediately? So mm. apart from that, mm. one of those sectors is financial sector. In Nigeria as it stands today, there are no patient capital anywhere. Oh, so most of an they collect loan for this thing. Now we see they try talk. There, there's the a houses. cost of fund Mm. There's a cost of so, uh, but no, they always give you time. They know say housing now, uh, you know, long term business. That's actually our problem. I don't understand. That's our problem. So if you get, if you have access to fund, mm -hmm. show me any bank that will give you even money to do housing. They don't even trust that as a viable uh, uh, project to do. So, but so if banks say they give loan for housing. I'm not saying they don't. Okay, they need to look at like saying that we will give them exactly money. because mm -hmm. there are several things around that. Again, by the time you look at um, other sources, maybe venture capital um, sources or maybe private equity uh, sources, a lot of these funds are not cheap and they are not patient. So. They so, are not patient. Many say they don't want you to pay them back within one year or two on, years. On, on time. On time. People want their money back on time. And they want it with that profit. Even fact, the reality now, we say, anybody who puts money into any project where they do now, they will start calculating based on dollar ex exchange rates. 
and telling you how much dollar be today now, how much dollar was when they gave you the money. You get waiting at the talk so. Mm. So these are some of the realities. And the landlord you are talking about that built his house and put it for rent is also running a race of paying back loans here and, and so there. how about maybe everybody with the build has a collect loan to build and so um just like you, you know so what you make me remember this matana because you talk about greed yeah as one of the things one of the factors yeah. where they make house expensive mm -hmm. and now what you make me talk so the greed not before one apart no, because okay. now from one apart so you be saying on the way they develop no it's it's a systemic issue right so so you agree now say you be part of the system no, no 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 it is when i say systemic issue there are many factors that are putting you under pressure to to make sure that you want even if let me be honest with okay. you one of our, our vision in our organization is to develop one million homes number one to develop one million to even develop one thousand homes within an unstable economy like we have in nigeria much less one million homes you will need a more patient capital Hmm. Than that. So even if and you have a, for Nigeria, not to get patience. There is no get patience. In fact, patience don't lost since. since. In a way, okay. So now you know. So you've been don't mention some things you contribute to make house expensive. Yeah. One of which where you talk saying that the greed, you know, and impatience. I mean, for the area of people where you be say they invest into this business. Yeah, especially those again, when you look at that, even mm. the so-called impatience, it's tied to the fact that I'm not sure of the safety of my resources. Oh, so if I give you a long time, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure. Even within one year, things they change. How much more? If we say now for 10 mm. years, if mm. now for 20 okay. years. So as you don't talk about some of these factors, including cost of raw materials yes. and all of that, and building materials, as one of the things where they make them expensive. From your experience, yeah. you feel tell me the kind of people we be see the suffer, suffer housing issues where we pass from what you do experience. Oh, for, for obvious reasons. Which, so, which kind of people, which demography of people they suffer housing issues So the, the class of people who are suffering the most, mm. maybe I will not pinpoint on demography in terms of maybe age, mm. or, but seven out of 10 Nigerians are, are even operating below $2 a day. So you know the realities now. So if, if we take a good job. Operating below $2. I mean, that's that even, is operating that's below even, one dollar that's because even, nobody gets one thousand naira every day now again. And that dollar is like one thousand five hundred. Exactly. Who they pay one thousand five hundred so every day now? The even, end of most. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to even, you know, elevate the, you know, not exaggerate the matter, you know. But it's actually worse than that, right? We were talking of insecurity right now. All of it is rooted in some of these uh, st uh, struggles, financial struggles that a lot of people are facing. And dealing with there are many 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 factors uh, responsible for that you know so okay all right so um, um you think say um, government policies in any way they also join hand for what's in the happen for inside housing issue because some people go won't know how government policies really they affect because you don't talk about unstable economy you don't talk about stuff so this is in any way get to do with the policies of government and what aspects of policy of government, you know, they really play a critical role for these housing issues? Fantastic question. The first one is, for us, why in, in, the, in the housing sector is mm. actual is actually about documentation, ease of processing documents and perfecting titles. Hey, that to a very large extent, Lagos. That, that everywhere been only Lagos State. I won't understand. No, no, Lagos State is seem to even be the one that is forward looking in the okay. whole process. Okay. Um, uh, recently, the governor of Sanwolu just, you know, commissioned um, a platform where people can easily, you know, verify titles to parcels of land or properties, you know, here and there, because those are the things that elevates, you know, confidence and provides comfort for financial system. So people who are going to provide fund mm. want to be sure that okay, there's clean title to this property, and then it, they can use it as security to access fund, right? In different parts of the world. It's easy to, to liquidate assets because of that type of system in place, right? So until we get that right, right, um, we will continue to recently, um, I mean, it, it isn't so recent, uh, PwC had actually released a report some five years ago, or four years ago, right, about how much real estate assets are, you know, um, about 900 billion worth of real estate assets are considered dead capital. 
Hmm. And what is responsible? As his capital will be say, not, you know, wake up from sleep again. You no, know, wake up from sleep. So hmm. the only way to wake it from sleep, really, are some of these policies, government policies, like the issue of documentation. You, we talked about justice, uh, judicial hmm. system hmm. In, in Nigeria. It's also another very, very critical thing um, in, in Nigeria. Then you cannot also do um, real estate in isolation of the host, host community. Right, mm. and that's also another because of Omolile issues, them and all that. You see, there are laws that have been passed that cannot be <laughs> that cannot be enforced because. But why? That what, why? Be. That that's again at the judicial issue. Why? So from the people we go enforce the law to people we go make sure say so let me, you let know me, let me people give be an punished. Why? Let me give an example. Our in the in the industry right now. We've, we, our business has been in the in operation now for almost 12 years. May 2nd will make it exactly 12 years. And I can tell you this for free. We have acquired properties where we have had to ratify like four times. What do you mean by ratifying? Mm -hmm. Maybe my purchase, you buy it again. So you buy property. You buy, you buy and you don't buy this place. This family again. come and say, okay, they are the owner. You buy from the primary market in, the, in this particular case. Mm. You bought this property from this family. You verify that, oh, this line is free and all of that. And I didn't get this property. And I didn't get this property. Then another family show face against it and don't get them again. Say, say they get one court judgment. Say that I didn't get the property. Say that because they buy them again for that family. Huh? Because you, you have a responsibility to your own customers. Now, if you decide to go to court because of, of, of um, inefficient judicial system, you could be on that case for 30 years. Is that what your customers will wait for? Hmm. Okay, so maybe we even look at other aspects. <laughs> We're talking about this same government policies. Mm. Um, somebody who I know won't get um, approval to build a house, like Fantastic. a four, five-story building mm -hmm. recently. I think five, six-story building recently. I call a complaint and say, the money you get to pay for all this approval from government pass 40 million. It's I shout, I say, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. If government collect as much as 40 million for approval of land, how much the person won't come use build the, that is to approve the building, you know, how much I won't come use build them? So all this money where governments, you know, they charge for this approval, no one has to use and do because you know not be government person. But if they, in, in any way they affect, you know, oh, on our work. Absolutely. You see, if we are to pay more, but the system and the process is even more efficient. It would have even been good. Oh, wow. So if you, if you spend money to save time, it would have even been better. The, the reverse is actually the case, right? Because in, this, in, in our own situation, you pay a lot of money, you still don't get it on time. Do you get it? Yes, so, I do. Which is the reason why um, efforts that I believe the government is making right now, I'm not a politician and I don't have any affiliation with, with them, but I believe that the government is making some moves. It's, it's more or less like snail and, and tortoise progress, but uh, somehow baby, step, baby, step baby steps. Yes. Well, I mean, baby step. Uh, but we're going to enjoy a day like pregnancy. We're going to enjoy. <laughs> we're going to enjoy when we're born. Yes. Yeah, so, but somewhere along the line, we're going to get there. Okay. All right. So, make we look at you know the effect of this um, housing issue for um, on people. You feel say the same. You know, lack of better, afford especially affordable housing. If you say it affects other areas of people's life, like their health, their well-being, their mental health, in any way, you don't, from your experience, you think it's not waiting for it affect people in those Environment areas. is everything. If you, wherever you live, defines who you would ultimately turn out. So to the be. reason I ask this question yeah. is because. Over the years, I'd always, you know, okay, so the past two years, I don't go a Jora Railroad, you know, and um, I'd always go do charity there from time to time. Mm. I buried in a 1st of January, so most 1st of January, I'd go do wow. charity for those areas. For two years now, I don't go there. Ah, the condition that they see people, they live there, housing, like people, they carry canopy, not be better canopy material, though. Not, that is this very weak canopy material, and I they use do clothes, we didn't use... Put, that is where they used to house. Mm. And the house was like small chaos. Mm. Now you human being they live. Mm. And guess what? Now family people. Yeah. Then get papa mama. Bed no deal. Yeah. Waiting day the grand again, they like another canopy again yeah. and all that. So um now make I ask you whether you feel say this whole because if you say them fit afford better houses, mm -hmm. then go there for better houses. Absolutely. And this is still problem of affordable housing. Mm -hmm. So if you say these things will fit affect people's well being in any oh, way. Oh sure. In many ways. 
um, in many, in many, many ways. I, I personally believe that you are who you are because of where you are, and where you are is is the re reason for what, who you are. So it has a lot of impact on on on, on the health, on the emotional and, and mental health of of people where you live, where you where you reside, the environment. Plays a critical role. Okay, so we could also look at other people now, non-governmental organizations, okay. um, community-based initiatives, for instance. All these community people come together. Then get any role to play to make sure say people get houses affordably. I be them said they could just they sit and they look. So you feel say they feel do anything? Yeah, a lot is being done. Okay. A lot is being done by a lot of non-governmental organizations, and I, I must confirm to you here, even. I belong to a church, for example, mm. and we, we pay rent for people, we support people, we, we, we do all sorts of health. The, the issue is, if you ever doubt what I'm saying, if church is like any other government agency that can go on strike and church decide to go on strike, that's where you will know the crisis that is in this country. Mm. You have no idea, you have no clue. You know what happened during um, the lockdown, the pandemic? Do you know how many families sus were sustained just because of church organization? That's, I mean, that's a segment of the non-governmental organizations. Now, do you know how many people are on scholarship on account of churches? And there are several other non-faith-based organizations that are also playing their part. And things could have even been worse than this, you know, uh, but it's, it's, it's still to an extent under control the way we are. Uh, because they are all playing their, their role. I also have an, a, a foundation where I pay school fees, I pay, I do a few things, you know, for for people. So whether you like it or not, we are playing our little, little role here and there. And that's why it could have been worse than, than this. And it is not worse like this, so? It could have, when I say it could have been worse, okay. waiting with this, now a child's play. Like, like now my, my case with this, so? Now my, my, yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. Because uh, it's it, it painful when you see people leave. You know, say for Bodo, you know, when we start earlier, we've been talking about shelters for people abroad. We be say, at least government keeps somewhere. We be say, people feel gather, mm -hmm. live there. Mm -hmm. Say, one on a no get house, so, mm -hmm. or you yeah, apply, you say, you no get house, mm -hmm. you go to live there. Mm -hmm. That one day different. Mm -hmm. But for Nigeria, we don't even get anything like that. Even those where they displaced, IDPs, mm -hmm. where it be say, na Wahala and trouble mm -hmm. make them they mm -hmm. displaced. Mm -hmm. If you go to that place where they live there, you know, go once, in fact, you go thank God for your. That day, now you go know, say, God bless you yeah. for inside your life. So, um, what is this government supposed to do to make sure, say, then, then put iPhone? I make I even ask him, I've been waiting, government supposed to. <laughs> now, government supposed to do this thing, I've been, we human beings are supposed to even do this thing. In fact, it'd be like, say, I go let you me answer that question after the break because <laughs> the matter me, it could be like, say, it'd be like, say, human beings, they help government do their work. I've been, individuals, they help government do their work. But make I let you answer me after this break. We are people, the Okay, if we want to talk something, just, just go ahead. Come. Okay, right. so we could go this break when they come back. After the break, Oga go and sales. Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Good Morning Nigeria Extra Now you day. And I see your girl, Precious, are they here with um, Oga Ola, the Pope of Clement for inside the house. And with the Indian, we think get to do with homelessness. That's where people don't get house. Roof, we cover their head, they don't get again. And where they, the one where they get safe, it they had to afford. And uh, for those who don't understand how house fit they had to afford, and when you be say if you calculate all your salary from January to December join together, you know if you pay your rent. You know if you pay your rent at all at all. Now I mean say the economy don't wear gyms, be <laughs> that for where you did. So uh, I'll get a lot of people have been asked questions, yeah. say about what thing government is supposed to do to address all these issues. But a lot of people feel no no say naturally the duty, whether not the duty of government or not. So as person with business and experts for the industry, help us understand that now the duty of government to create affordable housing to their people, I do not be their duty. Absolutely. Private so sector. waiting for the mortgage bank and Ministry of Housing and the rest of those bodies that we government mm -hmm. don't bring together, keep. What's up? What did they do? What did they work? Because it did for me, or oh, it did some ministries where I feel say for this country, be like say they need to work, like Ministry of Water Resources. Because I know they see the water, what did they give people? <laughs> Almost everybody they sink in borehole. <laughs> Now, now, housing now, everybody be their own landlord. Yeah. Everybody, they create their own house. They the one way government, they give you self. It be like saying that politicians, they buy and pass. But make I let you answer the question. May not be like, say, I ask you, can't they answer about themselves? <laughs> because this one now don't make me vex. I, I know they like in a situation where it be like, say, government be like, say, idea. Make I let you answer the question. The, the thing we say, um, I understand and I feel your pain. I, I feel. No, they painful, though. I, I feel Because now I our tax money, pulse. we deserve them. I feel your pulse. And, you know, what I have decided as a person, and what some of us in the industry have also decided, is that we focus on 
you know, we, we may not be able to solve the problem of Nigeria, right? But we will solve the ones within our circle of influence and we'll take it one step at a time. And then if we get more people who are not just thinking about me, myself and I, we can have a better country. That's the plain truth. A lot of times, um, people who enter into government, either through elective, um, um, who enter into elective offices or appoint, appointed offices or whatever, unfortunately, a lot of people are not in, in, in touch with, with actual realities and what is going on, right? So there's no way you can solve a problem you really have not identified. Huh. And then um, again, if you are an, if you are elected into office, you have maximum of eight years. The issues we are talking about is older than Nigeria. And to solve it, you will need not less than twenty five years. Well, government is supposed to be continuum now. Now, one hand, is it like really race? One so, person hand to the other. And that's person. actually the challenge. So every every new government is coming with their own new project. Nobody is completing old project. Everybody is starting the But for other countries, it is they like that? They say they don't get issue. They have institutions. Here we don't. Who forces us for neck? Moku no who they get our institution. <laughs> they press our neck. We only have it as a name. They are not institutions. Me, they say they need to work. They need to do their work. They need to function well. The issues are, 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 are deeper than can a conversation on, on TV can address, to be honest. So what do you they try to talk about? I say government self themselves, they helpless. Concerning they are not the, helpless the situation if, of people. They are not helpless. If they know they're helpless, why do they need to help the matter? So they are, they are not helpless in the sense of the fact that it has to be a priority. Let, let, me, let me give you an example. Let me give you an understanding. If every government, when I started out, when we started out this conversation, I mentioned that if you treat real estate or housing sector, affordable housing, and you treat it in isolation of several other sectors, you will be missing the big picture. If you really want to lubricate the economy, you want to really enhance the economy. Mm. You want the economy to move freely. You want it to move, mm. you want things to grow, you want mm. people to feel the impact of the economy. Even if you pick the housing sector, all the other sectors that are tied to this sector alone, they will experience growth. Mm. So you mean say if they pick the housing sector, for instance, now, lights, Light okay. will be taken care of. And that light will also take care of small and medium scale Mis businesses. businesses. Where we say they need them to use All of these have really put effects. Water will day. Exactly. And water will solve a lot of issues. Exactly. And all those things when you mentioned go day. Raw that? materials will begin manufacture. And that one will take care of, you know, um, a whole um, lot the more. So that's why I say mm. it's a systemic problem. And that's why, let me be honest with you, even government will now be making more money more, and it will be more sustainable and it will be on autopilot. Let me give an example. In America today, in America today, United States of America, Every county, what we call local government here, every yeah. local government, mm. right, is responsible for um, the policing, the local policing. I mean, they county for, police now. Yeah, they are responsible for um, public school system from elementary to high school. It's free. But don't be honest, I know one uh, state policing. Now, from state policing, it will start to enter I'm even, local government I, policing. What I want to share with you now is mm. how government is even f able to fund all of these things for free. Mm. It's purely from property taxes. Oh, so every year. So those tax, so people will get those houses, they pay. They pay. It's how, they, how they are using to fund. So everything is circulating. So school, primary, hey, hey, from hey. elementary to high school is free, completely and, and, free. And then health, Uncle? Healthcare, of course, if you are a citizen, then there's a whole lot hey. that you have access to um, health, health That's insurance. That's like, since we be say citizens, of, this will not be all your money that they use. Though. No, no. But we have come con garnish our own with oil and other raw materials. So the, the key, and the other mineral resources. Exactly. So the, the key issue is that we don't have a structure in place, or we do, or we're just not, you know. For example, good roads, recreation facilities. Every school is not supposed to be more than nine to 10 minutes away from where people live. Eh? You know the distance between one community school and another? That's exactly what I'm saying. Hmm. But that's actually supposed to be the design. And we have one of the, in fact, I ran into someone uh, some years back, you know, in England, and, and the person said that Nigeria, the, the person is actually a town planner, trained in Nigeria, but now operating mm -hmm. in, in England. The person said Nigeria has one of the best master plants in the world. But we are not keeping to it. We don't have systems okay. in place that, you know. So as a stand now. We, we have the people. potential. We have everything we need. We, we even get the workforce, the manpower we, have the we manpower, get. We have everything. I be China, right? there's a big work pass. So we don't, it appears the system doesn't, people don't 
we, we, we're operating in chaos, right? And it comes with its own, you know. Issues. As if they talk the thing, it's in the make me cry for my mind. So what seems be the solution to this problem? I mean, we just they go for road where we need to see lights for the tunnel. Be like that light is not quench them. So the solution mm. is we need to get our wage system right. Our wage system. Wage, that is money. Money, where salary. would they pay? Salary, salary then where would the people We need to review all these, um, what do they call them? Um, minimum wage. Minimum wage. Mm -hmm. They talk 50,000, they talk 18,000, they talk 30,000. All those ones and Okay, waiting your 30,000 feet by now. Waiting your 50,000 feet by now. I won't even tell you, say, even that 30,000 minimum wage, it is some states that today, they never even pay 12,000. You see, they pay 7,500 minimum wage. They never pay 12,500. They never even pay 12,000 on. Some states for inside this Nigeria till now. So that one saved day on the own. So every state actually have to be self-sufficient. Have to be self-sufficient. They have to self. Uh, they have to you know, this thing I talk him the other day. And they try. And they like to they. Uh, so I, they they pepper me for. But the way he says self-sufficient because yes. you know some states when I usually context they will be civil service states. So they could just wait. We start that bada. Enter oh. inside that sort of every month end yes. to go collect alawi from inside government. Yes. So because I know say you don't know do any state for Nigeria we not get more than one mineral resources. Yes. So what do you mean this is make these states and self-sufficient? Because even countries they don't get mineral resources self. See they self self-sufficient. Yeah. So what in what in which kind of sense our leaders I don't want to talk say we no get leaders we no get we have some of these brilliant most so brilliant what's it be the problem with the leaders who they no feel use you know make sure say things they use the things what we get to give us what we're supposed to get. I wish I can I can give them the answer and then to be implemented. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I hear a lot of commentaries, a lot of recommendations here and there flying all over. You hear a lot of intelligent commentaries. But over time, you just get, feel frustrated that do this and do that. You, because let me tell you something, for every solution you prefer, it will create another level of problem. Mm -hmm. Every solution you prefer will create another level. Of, so we need to be 10 steps ahead of every problems that will be created. Because let me give an example. If you increase or if you improve the minimum wage to say 120,000 Naira, for example, we, we don't, what we are calling inflation now is, is child's play. It's child's play compared to what will happen eventually. So while you are solving a problem, you are also creating another dimension so of problem. So what's going to be the problem? So the, 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 the fact now remains that we need a lot of patience. So, you know, I wanted you to, I'll be when we finish that wage on, because you know, say wage, <laughs> the way it did for other countries now, say, whether I be brick layer, I'll be clean now, mm -hmm. I'll be That's civil servant too, that salary, now waiting all of us, they receive. Yeah. So, so meaning as a cleaner, I think you receive salary, so I gather money, buy car. Yeah. I will gather money, pay loan for house yeah. and all that. So how do you solve that problem for Nigeria? They talk about them, um, then enter other matter, sharp, sharp, because time no Yeah, day. I mean, mm. that's, that's the first point of calling my opinion, if you ask me. And then, of course, ensure that uh, we can begin to look at local manufacturing, okay. right? Um, Is it possible? Absolutely. Give concession to people who are producing internally. Give them, if we are producing in Naira and supplying in Naira, we won't be saying, oh, it's because of exchange rates. Mm. That's why the costs don't go up. To a very large extent, price will be stable. I give people, like for example, part of the policies the, the, the President Tinubu, you know, um, introduced was license it to generate power and transmit or distribute power and all of those things. And then and any because President uh, Buhari been come out those things for exclusive lists to yeah. make them possible for people to for them yeah. to make decentralized. Exactly. Mm. So that is a very good move. But all of these things will take time. There's a gestation period between in introduction of an idea or solution before it will start to, before we start to reap the dividends. So hope they? Oh, absolutely, there okay. is. All right then, thank you. But if you give us like, no, if we begin to see that hope, time frame, what <laughs> will we begin? You don't, want, you don't want give us hopelessness in hope. So mm. let's, let's bear in mind that mm. every nation of the world, right, have their own peculiar challenges. Okay, and this is one of the things we get to go through for Nigeria. That's one of the things that we are, even America gets their own problem. There's homeless, there are homeless, a lot of homeless yes. people mm. all over the world. Right, so it's not peculiar to Nigeria, uh, but if we f look internally, if we look into and we begin to resource, uh, we become more resourceful, and I just f not just focus on our resources. I'm very certain 
It's just a matter of time. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Oga Oladipopo uh, <laughs> Clement, as in Fulos Hidan for Inside. I, I like the way you don't break the matter down when we are. She said, those who don't even understand. In fact, some people don't know, say, the housing where they get no that affordable. But we don't make them understand and say, that one way they go inside, you know that affordable. I appreciate you plenty, plenty, as in Fulos. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right, uh, now here, NIBC will go back break on top. The Good Morning Nigeria Extra for today. Um, now here, NIBC will go call them a day. Inside the Good Morning Niger Extra today. Thank you too much, too, too much. As you follow me, say that today. I will show your TV again next time. Thank you.